Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering a question from the P3 textbook from the International A Level LXL Pure Mathematics P3, Pure Mathematics 3 book. And this question here is from Chapter 1, Algebraic Methods. It's from the Chapter Review um, section, question number 6. And um, one of the students has asked me to answer this question. So it says, g of x is equal to 4x cubed minus 9x squared minus 9x over 32x plus 24 divided by x squared minus 3x over 6x squared minus 13x minus 5. Show that g of x can be written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are constants to be found. So we've got to basically divide these two fractions and simplify, and we should get this quadratic form at the end where lots of things should cancel out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, first of all, rewrite g of x so that I have a multiplication sign here. So, of course, we know that when we are dividing two fractions, then we can multiply the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second. So we have 32x plus 24. I'm going to multiply, and then I can write this as its reciprocal. Okay, so that's the first step. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to factorize everything as much as possible. All right, so I can start off with this. I can see x is common. So I'll write x, 4x squared minus 9x minus 9. And here I've got 32 and 24. I think 8. 8 is the highest common factor. So I'll write 8. And then I'm going to write 4x plus 3 times. And this denominator is going to be x times x minus 3. Now this... I want to factorize this as well. Now, I'm kind of going to guess here. I'm going to do a guesstimate here that one of the factors of this is going to be x minus 3 because I'm thinking it's going to cancel out. And one of the factors of this will be 4x plus 3 because I think that these will cancel out. I can, I can factorize from scratch if I want to, and it's fine. It's not too difficult to do. But sometimes you can make life easier for yourself. If it doesn't work, then we'll just go back and factorize everything as normal. But if this is um, the case, all right, then we should be able to factorize. Now, this, this particular one doesn't, doesn't work because there's no way you're going to get 3 when you multiply 5 by uh, 5 when you multiply 3 by anything. So that this, this particular guesstimate is definitely not going to work. So I can see that straight away. So what I'm going to do for this one, I will uh, actually... I will actually just um, just factorize it. So to factorize something like this, um, I like to use this window kind of method here. So you write the top left corner, your 6x squared, and then your minus 5 over here. Two numbers multiplied to give you negative 30x squared. That's the product, and the sum has to be negative 13. Well, that's going to be... Um, 15 and 2, they have to have different signs. Some people might think 10 and 3, but they have to have the same sign to add to give you 13 here. They're different signs, so it must be the difference of 13. So it's 15 times 2. So 15 has to be a negative one. So I'll put um, negative 15x and plus 2x. It doesn't matter really which, which way you put them, you'll still get the same answer in the end. So here I'm going to have the common factor of these two terms, which is 2x. 2x times 3x is 6x squared, 2x times plus 1 is 2x, and 3x times minus 5 is minus 15x. So this gives me 3x plus 1 and 2x minus 5. All right. Now for this one here, I'm going to, let's, let's do a guesstimate for this one. 4x plus 3, I'm, I'm guessing that they, they will cancel. Okay. And I'm thinking the other one will probably be x minus 3 because these will also probably cancel. So I'm, I'm just doing a guess now just by looking at the, the numbers that I see here or the other factors because I know things will definitely have to cancel out because of the fact that um, we're going to end up with something like this. So I'm just trying to make life easy for myself. Okay, you don't need to show the steps of the factorizing. You have to just show that you factorized. Okay, but sometimes you can make life easier by just making a guesstimate, as, you, as they say. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to check, does this give me that? It looks promising in the beginning. Let's have a look. 4x squared minus 12x plus 3x. That's right, and minus 9. So it did actually work. All right, so now we can see here 
And if it didn't work, then I would have factorized this in the same way as that, just like we saw this wouldn't work. So I factorized like that. So now we can see the common factors. 4x plus 3 cancels out with this 4x plus 3. Anything, when you're multiplying two fractions, anything in any numerator and denominator can cancel out. So these two can cancel out. The x cancels out with the x. And you're left with the 8 underneath here. Okay, so you end up with, if you expand that, that's going to be 6x squared minus... Um, fifth, that's going to be minus 15x. I'm going to have plus 2x and minus 5 over 8. So that's 6x squared minus 13x minus 5 over 8, which gives us. In the end, we had to um, we had to just expand this in the end. Anyway, nothing cancelled out with it, right? So we ended up with this. So anyway, so now we're going to end up with. They want it in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where they're constants. It doesn't say they're integers, so this is okay. We can write this as 6 over 8x squared minus 13 over 8x minus 5 over 8. So just simplify that. 3 quarters x squared minus 13 over 8x minus 5 over 8. And there's our answer in the form required. So this is another way of writing g of x. That's in the simplest form after we've finished simplifying and dividing so there's the answer for part a then it says part b hence differentiate g of x and find inverse sorry not inverse the, the differential of g minus 2 so you have to find you have to differentiate this expression and replace the x with negative 2 so this is a simple differentiation from p1 where you multiply by the power so it's 2 times 3 quarters which is 3 over 2 x minus 13 over 8 Okay, you multiply by power, take one from the power here, you just drop the x, the constant becomes zero. So we can say g2 is going to be, g negative 2, sorry, is going to be 3 over 2 times negative 2 minus 13 over 8. They cancel out, so you're left with minus 3 minus 13 over 8, which can write this as over 8 minus 24 over 8 minus 13 over 8. That's minus 37 over 8. So we can say the, the differential of g, negative, poop, negative 2 put in there, is going to be negative 37 over 8. And there is the answer to part b, and that concludes this question. Okay, so and when we tried to simplify, as I said, we found a way to factorize this in a way that would um, make it easier because we just guessed I guess that these two would be the factors, right? Because things will have to cancel out. And that's how that worked out. And when we, when we tested it, it worked. All right, so there's the answer to that question. I hope that was clear. Other questions from this particular um, chapter of P3 um, can be found in the playlist that will appear in this section over here. Other questions from algebraic methods of P3 in general in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can watch the video up here which will tell you how to use my, show you how to use my channel in an efficient manner. Thank you for watching and see you soon.